Hello everyone, you're on to Holiday Options with Mommy. Today we'll be making the eggplant sauce. Some people call it the eggplant stew. Back home in Nigeria, you could actually substitute what is known as the garlic eggs or the ayara for this eggplant. It's very delicious, really simple and quick to make. Please do give this a go. I'm, I'm sure you will like this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please do give us a thumbs up and share as well. Thank you. So for eggplant sauce, we will be needing some eggplant, tomatoes, vegetable oil, crayfish, garlic, chopped onions, some dried fish, this is optional, salt, curry powder, and some scotch bonnet peppers. So first things first, we'll start by prepping our ingredients and we'll do that by peeling off the skin of the eggplant. I'm just going to use a potato peeler. I'm going to peel off the skin as quickly as this. I'm going to discard this and I will be chopping up my eggplant. And I'm going to continue with this. I will finish up the other eggplants, then we'll prep the other ingredients and I will come back and show you how we cook this. So once we are done peeling the eggplant, I'll be transferring it into a saucepan. And that's what we have here. I'm just going to transfer everything like this into a saucepan. And then I'll be adding on just a bit of oil, about a tablespoon. I'll be adding on a drop of water too, just a splash of water rather. So I just place this on heat and I'll be covering it with a lid. I'll let it steam and soften, then I'll come back and tell you what next to do with this. So right now I'm done with prepping our ingredients. I'll be commencing with making the sauce. So I just placed a pot on heat and I'll be turning on the oil into the pot. I'll let it heat up a bit, then we'll be adding on our onions. So right now, we've gotten our onions to the stage we want it to be. The next thing that will be going in will be the garlic. So the, the grated garlic goes in. I'm going to give that a stir. And then my curry powder goes in too, alongside the crayfish. I'll give this a stir for just a couple of seconds. Then the tomato goes in. The scotch bonnet pepper is still going at this stage. Giving this a stir. So at this stage our tomato is beginning to boil and then we'll be adding on our dried fish at this stage. So I'm going to give this a stir. Now let this boil a little longer. We'll be checking on our eggplants now. So at this stage, this is what our eggplants look like. The water has dried up and it still feels a bit tough. So I'll be adding on a little bit more water. The purpose of cooking the eggplant first is to tenderize them a bit before adding them to the sauce. So I will still cover this, let it cook a little longer, then I will come and mash it up before we add it on to the sauce. So at this stage, that's what our eggplants look like. You can see it's very tender now. I let the water dry up, and when you look at the base, you find out it's kind of beginning to caramelize because I let the water dry up. You just need to add enough water to soften your eggplant or to cook it through. So I'm going to be smashing this now with a potato masher. Whatever you have at home works, a fork will work well too, or even the back of your cooking spoon, and that will work perfectly well. So I think I like the texture I have with it now. So I'll be adding this into the tomato sauce. 
I will show you the stage at which the tomato sauce is in and that's the stage you'll be adding your eggplant. So that's what our tomato sauce looks like at this stage as you can see. The fluid in it is almost dried up and it's at this stage that you'll be incorporating your eggplant. So that's our eggplant and it goes into the tomato sauce. I'll let this cook for a couple more minutes then I'll come back and show you how I like to serve this. So after about a minute of cooking, that's what it looks like. As you can notice, we have a little bit of oil beginning to separate at the edge of the pot. And one last thing I like to add, this is completely optional, it wasn't even mentioned when I was introducing the ingredients. It's just a little bit of green pepper because this enhances the color. So I'm just going to add that and we'll give it a stir. That's what it looks like. Now I'll be turning off the heat now and then we'll be serving. So this is how I like to have my eggplant sauce. I prefer having it with boiled yams. You can actually serve this over rice as well. This is one of the ways of incorporating vegetables into your meals so that you enjoy this with your family. Don't forget to give this a go. You can serve this over boiled plantains, over potatoes. You can even have it with bread. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you haven't. And please share as well. Thank you.